Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn data binding and view binding one by one with their examples. So first, let's understand what is data binding. Data binding is a technique that allows you to establish a connection between UI components and the data. See, in very simple language, it's like giving a variable to text view directly in the XML layout. I repeat, variable, not ID. So usually we assign variable to a particular UI component in activity, right? But in data binding, we can directly assign it in XML layout. Got it? This is how we enable data binding in Gradle module. Build features and inside it data binding is equal to true. Now next is what is view binding. See, view binding is a feature that simplifies the process of interacting with UI components. Basically, it replaces find view by ID method. And also in find view by ID, if we wrote incorrect ID or maybe not initialize it, then it will obviously going to lead incorrect view type casting or null reference. So to avoid such cases, view binding was introduced. This is how we enable view binding in Gradle module. Build features and inside it, view binding is equal to true. Now, what is the difference between data binding and view binding? So view binding is a subset of data binding, like whatever functionalities view binding can perform that can be performed by data binding as well. But whatever functionalities data binding perform, view binding cannot. In simple words, data binding can be used as a substitute to view binding, but view binding cannot be used as a substitute to data binding. Like data binding can replace find view by ID, and it can also connect data and UI. While view binding can replace find view by ID, but it cannot connect data and UI. Got it? We have previously used view binding in most of the projects, so I assume you are quite familiar with it. And even if you're not, then let's understand it better through examples. This is an empty project where I will implement view binding as well as data binding one by one. So first, let's start with easy one, that is view binding. Step number one is to enable view binding. So go to build Gradle app. And inside the Android brackets and below the Kotlin options. Here write build features. And then inside it write view binding is equal to true. And that's it. Now click on sync now and done. Then go to activity main.xml Here we will create a simple linear layout with a text view and a button. So let me quickly create it and done. See parent layout as linear layout and inside it a text view whose ID is also a text view and then a button whose ID is also a button and that's it. There is no functionality or any logic in it. I'm just demonstrating you like this will be your UI components. Now go to mainactivity.kt. First let me show you the traditional method that is by using find view by ID. See, this is where we declare the variable and then using find view by ID, we initialize the UI components. But with find view by ID, there are chances of wrong IDs or null reference. So to avoid that, let's go for view binding. Also, you might be wondering what's wrong with this method. It's easy. Then why the need of view binding? Because if the project is small with less UI components, then it is fine to use find view by ID. But imagine an XML layout file with 6 button, 5 image view, 10 text view. Then in that case, you can't keep writing find view by ID for each one of them, right? Hence, that's where we will need view binding. Got it? So we have already enabled view binding in Gradle. And now we need to write 3 lines of code just to declare and initialize it. First, write private lit in it where view binding as activity main binding. 
टेन मी इन विच एक्टिविटी वी आर करेंटली इन मेन एक्टिविटी राइट एंड इन विच एक्स एम एल ले आउट वी आर ट्राइंग टू कनेक्ट एक्टिविटी मेन डॉट एक्स एम एल करेक्ट सो इट विल बी एक्टिविटी मेन बाइंडिंग कंसिडर इफ द ले आउट नेम इज एक्टिविटी लॉग इन देन इट विल बी एक्टिविटी लॉग इन बाइंडिंग एंड इफ द ले आउट नेम इज एक्टिविटी सेंगन अप देन इट विल बी एक्टिविटी सेंगन अप बाइंडिंग डू यू सी अ पैटर्न सो प्रेफिक्स इज एक्स एम एल ले आउट नेम दैट इज एक्टिविटी मेड एंड सफिक्स इज बाइंडिंग ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट द डिक्लेरेशन इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन ले आउट फाइन नेम नॉट ऑन एक्टिविटी गॉट इट लेट मी शो यू इफ आई रीनेम मेन एक्टिविटी एज मे बी लॉग इन एक्टिविटी सो सी स्टील नो एरर बट नाउ आई एल रीनेम एक्स एम एल ले आउट एज एक्टिविटी लॉग इन and see there is an error now it will become here as activity login binding got it hence declaration is dependent on xml layout file name next we have already declared it now to initialize it write the variable as binding is equal to activity login binding dot inflate as layout inflator means to fetch the layout then we usually attach xml layout in set content view but now instead of it we will write binding dot root means to attach the entire layouts basically you can access any ui components from it now all the setups are done and it's time to actually use it see i want to set a text on text view so to do that first we need to access it so for that i'll write binding that is a variable then dot So when you write binding dot, it will instantly show you a list of UI components. See, we have text view, then button, then container, everything at one place. So out of it, I'll choose text view, then dot text, and some random text on it, and that's it. Now I want to set on click listener on button. So first to access it, I'll write binding dot, and out of this list, I'll choose button UI component. then dot set on click listener on it and that's it then inside in you can perform any actions did you see we don't need to declare or initialize the button we just wrote binding dot and then we had a list of ui components in it cool right and that is what view binding is all about also make sure to remove old activity import otherwise it will throw error now let's try data binding i'll clear everything and back to empty project now whatever we performed in view binding same things can be performed in data binding as well but view binding is not capable to establish a connection between data and ui components and that's when we use data binding so first we need to enable it and go to gradle module below kotlin options here write build features and then inside it write data binding is equal to true and that's it now click on sync now and then but if you notice here it throws a warning as you need to add a kotlin kept plugin so to do that in the same gradle module file you will find a plugin set where add a new plugin as id kotlin k a p t and then click on sync now and that's it so data binding is enabled and now let's set up first go to activity main.xml here we have previous xml layout where linear layout as a parent layout then inside it a text view whose id is also a text view and below it a button whose id is also a button and that's it now here comes a twist As I said, data binding connects UI components with data, so text view and button is a UI components. But where is data? So just above the parent linear layout, we will create a layout with all the necessary declaration. So let me quickly write it.
and done. See, no linear layout, no relative layout, no constraint layout, just a layout. The closing layout will be at the end, means it will cover all the UI components in it. Now inside the layout and above the linear layout, we will add a data. So I will write data. And inside it, I will write variable. And then again, inside it, I will write variable name as message. And its data type as string. And that's it. Once the data variable is created, then we will assign it to the UI component directly in the XML layout itself. And that's what the magic of data binding is. So we will assign this message variable to text view. How? Write text as at the rate curly brackets and mention the variable name that is message. Simple, right? See, ID is text view and variable is message. Both of them are different. Then come to main activity not kd. Here first we will declare it as private date in it where binding as activity main binding. I have already explained it in view binding. Then we will initialize it as binding is equal to data binding util. dot set content view and here mention this and the xml layout not the root and that's it so data binding is declared and initialized and now we will see how are we supposed to use it okay so i'll write binding dot and here you will see a list of ui components as well as variable name so i'll select message variable see if I would have go for text view ID, then this is how the code would have look. But as I chose variable itself that is assigned to text view, I can skip text view ID as well as dot text. All I have to write is equal to as some string. Got my point? Also, as I said, data binding can do the job of view binding. So in that case, if I want to access button, then I'll write here binding dot I'll choose button ID then dot set on click listener on it then inside it you can perform any operations and that's it I hope you have understood view binding as well as data binding so make sure you use either one of them in your next project I'll recommend to go for view binding okay also for more updates you can follow us on Instagram or join our telegram group link in the description box so yeah that is it for the video if you are new to this channel then please consider subscribing to my channel and i'll see you in the next video